mobile phones from Cat, you already know, I guess. Ruggedized phones, and this one is to the S60. But before I come to the specifications, let me show you the highlight feature of that phone, and that's a thermal imaging camera integrated by FLIR. You see here on the backside, FLIR is a very well-known company. Oh, well, this is beta software, I um, tell you, uh, because the product is coming somewhere in uh, Q2, maybe June this year. So let me start it all over because sometimes it really works nice. And as you can see, I already made this photo here on the Mobile World Congress. And the thing is, you can swipe over here, see the real photo, and then go back again and see the thermal imaging. And that's done here by that 13 megapixels camera on the backside. By the way, videos in full HD, front side 5 megapixels. So we have a check on this one. But let me go again back to this one. You can do this in real life, of course. Let me just go here and then back. Sometimes it will work or restart the app. Then in most cases it works just beta very, very soon. You see here, for example, that SOS button is none at all. That's a dummy here, but there will be, for example, an uh, SOS um, a real button in the future. Here we are, that live, you see here from the uh, lightning, the, the surface of that table is, and you see here when I'm going over there, and that's my fingers, of course, almost in real time. And what I really like is the precision, as Kat is saying, that up to 30 meters, you have a precision of 0.1 degrees exactly. So you see here, my finger now is around about 32, 33, degrees Celsius. If I'm throwing away here and leaving that image, you see on the real table somewhere 23 degrees. You see it's hot in here already uh, on the Mobile World Congress. But you see it really works and the total uh, distance you can make is up to 100 meters, then the precision is going down. But, uh, the, for example, uh, imagine if you are on a health uh, or security or whatever um, uh, um, th action you're doing, then this might be very helpful, for example, finding a body in the snow or whatever. Yeah, coming to the specifications, I told you. First of all, you see these two yellow, it's not a button, it's a switch because you have normally up to two meters depth and not only sweet water, you have salt water too because that's military standard. It's called Milspec 810G for to be precise. So two meters is normal. And in case you want to go up to five meters, then you have that mechanical switch here for the uh, speaker and the microphone on the top, on the back side, and then you have five meters, and then it's like that. So yellow is two meters, and red, of course, is five meters, going like that. And you only have to think about that if you want to have a phone call afterwards to switch again back to yellow. Uh, being at yellow, and by the way, this year, I'm sorry for that. Uh, it's uh, been busy day already here, so the uh, battery with up to 3,800 milliamps is dropping down here, so I have to use that. Sorry for that. You see, um, normally uh, that FLIR cameras are uh, separated um, um, devices, but here it's the first time, at least the first time I've ever heard that this is integrated in a smartphone. Nevertheless, it's heavy usage for the um, for the uh, battery, of course, as you have two cameras, so uh, you can imagine that you will need that um, charging over here. Under that uh, flap here, you will find a dual SIM uh, slot because left and right, that's two nano SIMs. And here on the top, that's a micro SD slot for up to 128 gigabyte. Internal memory is 32 gigabyte. Yeah, and uh, specifications, um, well, processor. It's a Qualcomm Snapdragon 617. So it's quite all right. You have octa-core, four uh, cores with 1.2, and the other four with 1.5 gigahertz, and uh, three gigabyte of RAM. So it's not bad, don't get me wrong, but you will find 
stronger, more powerful phones on the market, that's for sure. But for this situation here, it will be totally enough, I guess, in most cases. And in case you have seen already here, Android 601 pre-installed, delivered with that, that's a great job. And um, like I've already told you, it's a um, 4.7 inch display, full HD resolution, and it's up to, at least um, uh, the manufacturer is telling us, up to 540 nits, so very bright. And I really can, if you see that white background here, I really can imagine that that's true here. So first impression is very very good, but very big, of course. 170 grams, and we have 12.6 uh, millimeters thickness. That's uh, huge for normal, regular phones, smartphones nowadays, uh, sure. But in that case, with that military standard sealed uh, water and dust protection. By the way, it's not some um, uh, theory dust, uh, but it's uh, uh, every dust you can imagine on where it's working and wherever. So this will be really, really good sealed. Uh, last of all, this is an additional action button. You can have programmed on-off standby. You have fear under these flaps. It's hard for me with my fingertips, uh, but you can imagine how a uh, um, headphone jack is looking like. And here, of course, that's the micro SD slot. Yeah, well, I hope that's enough for you for first impression of the very interesting Cat S16 phone. S60, I'm sorry, S60. Here from Barcelona, from the Mobile World Congress. Thanks for watching, take care, and bye.